It is April 1st. Thank you for being here. I'm Pat Sloan and this is April Activities. 30 days of challenges, all for our quilting to get us sewing in our room and tidying up and reinventing things and finding new things and trying new things, all of those <laughs> for our month. So you can download the calendar. If you wanted to go back and get March, that's still available. I'll link you to this new calendar page, which you can get both of them at the same time. Yeah, so I also added on here all the sew alongs because today is like massive sew along day. Sometimes that happens on the calendar. And I decided to embrace the first with our challenge is titled sew alongs. So here's the challenge. First, you should be doing a sew along somewhere. If you're not, then you can start the one I have today. If you are doing several sew alongs or many sew alongs, take your calendar and go ahead and write them in, you know, so that you know what day they come out. Because I imagine you may be doing a sew along that's not mine. Mine are all listed down here. Uh, for April, but if there's something that you're doing with your quilt shop or with somebody else uh, Or just sort of maybe you're doing it yourself You picked up one that had run before get that listed get it up here on the calendar. So you have that listed and today will be Make a block make a block for one of your sew alongs if it's a something current coming out, which I'm going to show you my current ones, then sew those. If uh, you're not doing these, but you have one in progress and maybe uh, you need to go back and do a block, do that today. At least get it out and get it going because some sew alongs are a little bit more time consuming. They take a little longer to do uh, than one, just one block in a day. And so it can be, we can easily get behind. So uh, look and focus on finding one that you can catch up a little bit on. And I always tell you people, if they've um, fallen behind, do the, do the most recent one first that you have not done. Don't go back to the beginning. That's kind of like mentally um, hard because you can look and say, oh, I have so many. Instead, just do the most recent that you haven't done, you know, the, the latest one. Okay, so what's going on today? Let's go through. I'll save this. I'll save the um, stay at home so long for last because I want to show you a little something about it. So first, it is. Uh, let's just do what we did yesterday because normally, little little little. I talk too fast. <laughs> so normally the out west block will be on the first, but because two other things were happening on the first, I decided to put it out on March thirty first. So it is on my website and this is the block and it is a ranch, ranch life. Um, so, you know, the, 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 me as a city girl, these, I told you a little bit about what I see as, as, a, as a ranch and how my impression is from vacations that I took and from my mom living in Montana, uh, where big sky country, right? So that is the sort of theme inspiration about this month's uh, Out West block. And here it is. I had so much fun. I fussy cut that center. And when you're sewing it, I did the star first. I did all the, I did all the flying geese and then I made the star and then I assembled. So it goes together nicely. Now the layout for the Out West uh, will be probably in two months. That's what I'm thinking because I don't think I can get it done this month. Uh, so I'll be shooting for, um, for, for April, for, for uh, <laughs> I'm having a hard time today with the months. So for June, that's rare. So not for May. Okay. See, maybe I need to breathe, right? I'm just so excited about all the stuff for today. We also have, which I showed you on Monday night's fireside chat, uh, the longer video in the evening, but the uh, Bloomtopia. This is the tulip blocks for Bloomtopia and mine I did a little bit different setting, which is actually really similar to how they have set the cross stitch one. So you can see on the cross stitch one, it is set with the leaves in the middle. And that's what I did for the piece block. So it also then, of course, the cross stitch uh, pattern has come out as well today. And if you're watching this really early in the morning, uh, like when I first put it out, give it a couple of hours because Fat Quarter Shop has to get it loaded and it's usually a late morning. So here is my cross stitch. I got 
whoops, I got my hand on it. I got the, the flower done. And I see now that I've got two sections to do. I've got a, this pinwheel, which is so darn cute, and then the tulips for the cross stitch. So I will get it done. I must my I have not been behind. Well, maybe one, maybe one. <laughs> Shh, don't tell, don't tell. So that comes out today. The the next part of Bloomtopia. Of course, you can see what all the parts are for Bloomtopia. It's just the patterns come out and the supports make a wish. And my coal quilt made with my Bonnie Lane will be auctioned off to support Make-A-Wish. So excited about that. And Cindy and Dennis will quilt it again like they have for all the years that we've been auctioning. We partnered up and they are my spa. Uh, <laughs> so what else do we have? Oh, oh, Block Wednesday. It's Wednesday, April 1st. There's no April Fool's jokes in Pat Sloan's world. Sorry, I'm not that kind of a, I don't think like that. <laughs> I like to see a good one, but I don't know how to develop them. That's just not my thing. So no fooling. Everything is really here today. Um, this is the Childhood Games, and we are playing Kick the Can this week. That is a game that so many of you loved as a kid, and you might be playing it with your own kids now, with your grandkids. Um, so I found out it has like a whole bunch of different names. So you'll read that in the little write up for it. And the repeat of this, where I give you the last page, or second to the last page, always a how to use this as a block, as a quilt rather, or the block in a quilt. It is so cool. I really want to make that one up. Somebody do that for me. Okay. <laughs> so let me show you our stay at home quilt along block. So stay at home quilt along. This is every day in April for 30 days. You will make one block of the same block. It's a repeat. You just use different fabrics, find fabrics you love. And here are the two I had shown you previously that I was playing around with to give as samples, the fried eggs. They make me, I'm gonna use ones that make me smile like this, but I'm sort of leaning towards doing something pretty. I, I personally, I can't do two. I say that, but you never know. You never know. Because I've been looking around at my fabric thinking, well, what kind of pretty stack do I have that I could do a second one? Uh, this is with the Bonnie Lane, just to show you what the block looks like with a pretty fabric. But the real block for April 1, I am using the octopus fabric because it just makes me smile. I just love those octopus. I think they are so sweet. How can octopus be sweet? I don't know, I love their little faces. See their little faces with their little eyeballs? You know, <laughs> I don't know, I love them. So I wanna show you something about this sew and flip. So let me move this back there for a moment and we'll come down here. Because when you do this, here's one, I did two, just so I have a sample. Uh, but when you're when you're sewing them let me get this to come in here you are sewing on the line but you can draw a line or uh, use um, some sort of device that you have that can you know like I have a guide beam that has the line that so I just sew right along but you're sewing corner to corner um, get that even closer I use cream colored thread, so of course it's harder to see. But what's going to happen is you're sewing right on the line because then you will be flipping it over like this. And when you flip it over like this, uh, it will come right to the edges. So this is a six and a half inch block. See? The six and a half inch block, and you have two and a half inch squares. The size of the block does not change. Does not change. So when you flip this over, what you need to do is, I'll have an example here, is I did flip these ones over, and here you can see on this one, be sure you can see it on this one, can you see the pink? So the pink came past this blue, which means if I did not turn this over and look at that, I would just merrily go along and whack this off, and then my block would actually not be six and a half. It would be six and a half plus that little sliver. And sometimes uh, when you do this, it could be even more than that. You know, sometimes uh, if you didn't, so like if you sew, what happens you kind of sometimes curve, 
like you're sewing. That's what I can see here. This line, I didn't get really as straight as it should. It did a little bit of a curve. So technically, you should, you should take that out. But because we are going to have sashing, okay, I'm showing you a hack. I'm telling you a hack. So because we're going to have sashing, you could just trim this off. You know, so that it is six and a half because you're not me you're not matching. We're not doing this. Let me pull this back a little bit now. If you were trying to match these blocks like this and sew them right right next to each other, you definitely would need to be very, very accurate. But because we're going to have sashing between here, you know, it is not going to be really noticed if one is a fraction different than the other. So you do want to flip this over if there is a little trimming that needs to be done or if you just want to take it out and redo it for practice uh, so that you can get really accurate with this. At, by the end of the month, you should be very accurate with uh, doing sew and flip blocks because you are going to have a lot of days of it. Now several of you, which has been kind of fun, several of you have said, you know, you're so excited about it, you just want to sew up the whole quilt right away. Go, do it. It's fun. You can do it. Make a second one on a day by day because these don't take you but a couple minutes. Uh, and a lot of people have pre-cut things so they can just sit down and sew one block. Uh, but if you want to, if you've got a whole bunch of stuff cut and you're like, I really like this, I want to make this into a quilt now, just do that and then start again with another one that you can do uh, every, every day. Because I'm going to show you a block every day when we do my, when I do this challenge video, I will show you my block of the day. And then when I get the row done, I'll do a row and sew that right away. Then I'll do the next row so that by the time I'm done, uh, on the 30th, I would just have to sew the last row up, you know, sew it together, sew it up, and then put the borders on. Yay! So that is our excitement. Our excitement for today is, uh, what are we doing? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Okay, for today we're doing sew-alongs. Duh, duh, sew-alongs. April 1st, Pat Sloan, 30-day challenge. It is... April activities, download your calendar, subscribe here at YouTube so you get the notices. These uh, come out every morning except for Mondays, which is in the evening. So see you later. I love you. Have a really great day. Hope nobody tricks you. If they do, tell me about it. <laughs>